Today, we are going to learn how to pressurize your S-MAN refrigerant manifold to check for internal valve leaks in the block. For this process, you'll need two quarter inch brass caps, a pressure source, we're using a recovery machine, a hose with a ball valve. Now let's get started. First, we need to pressurize the hose line to about three to 400 PSI. I'm using the digital refrigerant recovery machine MR45 and our quarter inch ball valve hose HR1B to seal in the pressure. Next, close off both the vacuum and refrigerant valves. Then open the high and low side valves completely. Now place the brass caps on both the high and low side ports. Connect your hose to the refrigerant port on the manifold. Ensure the vacuum and refrigerant valves are closed and the high and low side valves are open. Then add pressure onto the closed refrigerant valve. Watch the gauges closely. If you see a pressure buildup of 0.3 or 0.4 PSI or more on either side, that indicates a leak in the refrigerant valve. If it stays at zero, we're good to proceed. On to the next step. Close both high and low side valves. Note the pressures on both sides. We will use these as reference points. If the pressures change slightly, that is okay. The readings are 2.8 and 3.1 PSI. It's important to remember these values because when you open the refrigerant valve to add pressure onto the high and low side valves, any change will indicate if there's a leak. Keep in mind that temperature has an effect on pressure. Now open the refrigerant valve and we will allow pressure to enter the manifold. If the pressure remains stable on both sides, there are no leaks in the high and low side valves. If you see the pressure increase on the low side, for example, to 3.1, 3.2 PSI or higher, it indicates a leak. The same rule applies to the high side. However, if the pressure remains stable as it is now, it means there are no leaks inside the high and low side valves. Next, open the high and low side valves to allow pressure into the block. Give it time for the pressures to equalize. They should be within 1% of each other. Close the refrigerant valve and remove the hose. With both high and low side valves open, observe the pressures. If they remain stable, there are no leaks within the block. It looks like the valves have passed the test. Now on to the next step. Close both high and low side valves. Then open both the refrigerant valve and the vacuum valve. Watch for any pressure drops. If the pressure holds steady, there are no leaks within the block. Looks like we are good. And there you have it. We've successfully tested the manifold for internal leaks. If you've followed these steps and your manifold has passed all tests, you can be confident that it's leak-free and ready for use. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.